Welcome to the Dementia Friendly Business Training for First Responders. This training is provided by Age Guide Northeastern Illinois. The objectives for today's training are to review dementia, discuss the issue of addressing fear, describe the challenges for first responders, explore what the talk strategy is, and review some responses to specific emergencies you might experience. You should have already seen this in the training module for understanding the basics, so this will be a quick review. As we have talked about before, dementia is the general umbrella term for disorders that are categorized by chronic impairment of the brain's mental process. It affects things such as an individual's memory, thinking, decision-making, and the ability to perform everyday activities. Within the category of dementia, there are many different specific types. The top four most common types of dementia in order are Alzheimer's disease, vascular dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies, and frontal temporal dementia. There is also such thing as mixed dementia, which is exactly what it sounds like. It occurs when a person has more than one type of dementia. Symptoms and signs can differ depending on the type of dementia. Again, you should have already seen this before in the previous training module. Some common signs and symptoms of dementia include communication difficulties, wandering, losing things, frustration, repetition, poor judgment, unacceptable behavior, and confusion. Despite these symptoms, a person with dementia is a valuable contribution to their community, and they are still a person. The disease does not diminish that. First responders may face a few extra challenges in regards to people that suffer from cognitive deficits due to dementia. One of the biggest challenges is addressing fear, because people with dementia may be afraid of the first responders. That fear can include fear of going to the hospital, fear of involving police, fear of being removed from their home, and fear of the uniform. In addition to the challenge of addressing fear, first responders may have other challenges as well. Of course, there is always the challenge presented by whatever emergency situation first responders are responding to, whether that is an emergency situation in an illness, fire, natural disaster, etc. Each present their own set of unique challenges. First responders must also be aware of the challenging behaviors that people with dementia have. For instance, those living with dementia during emergencies can be lost, confused, anxious, and or afraid. It is also common for people with dementia to be somewhat aggressive or even go as far as refusing to cooperate. This can happen especially when the person with dementia cannot correctly comprehend what is happening around them. Lastly, first responders may also encounter the challenge of misusing the emergency 911 number. Essentially, this refers to when people with dementia use the 911 number too often for things that are not emergencies. For example, an older adult with dementia may call 911 when they need help going to the bathroom or walking up and down the stairs. However, we know that neither of those circumstances are really true emergencies. In order to address these challenges that we just discussed, first responders should use the talk strategy, which is a tactic for interacting with people with dementia. T. Take it slow. Allow people with dementia ample time to process. A. Ask simple questions. This will make it easier for the person with dementia to understand what is happening and respond. L. Limit reality checks. And K. Keep eye contact. Next, we are going to go through some specific emergency situations that may present some special concerns for first responders. With all these situations, it's very, very important to always let the person with dementia know that you are there to help. Explicitly voicing that it goes back to the idea of addressing fear. The first emergency situation on here on the slide is firearms. 
it is always crucial for the first responders to be aware of weapons that might be in the home. When responding to situations concerning older adults with dementia, ask present caregivers if there are any weapons in the home. Similarly, ask caregivers if you can remove, unload, and safely store the weapon. Or you may want to even consider removing the weapon from the vicinity entirely. Next, we have wandering, which we have already touched on before as a symptom of dementia. However, we did not discuss the fact that it can be also considered an emergency situation. Wandering is essentially when a person with dementia becomes lost and confused about where they are. It can happen often because dementia causes people to lose their ability to recognize familiar places and surroundings. It is important for first responders to recognize clues that may indicate wandering such as confusion, unsuitable attire, and awareness of surrounding danger. Then, look for other parties that may have been with the person with dementia, such as a caregiver or a family member. As a first responder, what should you do if you ever pull a person over with dementia that is driving? First, issue them a justified citation in the form of a warning or a ticket, like you would do for anyone else. If you have a suspicion that this may be an older adult with dementia, Prevent them from driving home. Offer to call someone that might pick them up or drive them home yourself. After the instance, file a DMV report using the driver's information. The next emergency situation is disaster response. This refers to emergencies such as national disasters, fire, inclement weather, etc. The first strategy is to be creative in helping the person with dementia and getting them to cooperate. Remove them from the danger as soon as possible and avoid using physical force. The next emergency situation is shoplifting, which can be a little tricky. It is critical to be aware of the person with dementia and their cognitive abilities. With that said, one of the first things to do is to evaluate the understanding of the situation. This will tell you whether or not the person with dementia had the intention of shoplifting. More often than not, the instance is unintentional because the older adult with dementia simply forgot to pay or check out. If that's the case, attempt to resolve the situation with the store manager. Then inform the caregiver or accompanying family member of the situation. Lastly, we have abuse and neglect. While this emergency is one that we hope you never see, it is important for you to be aware of what to do. First, assess if there are any physical injuries to the person with dementia. If the first person with dementia is injured, transport them to the hospital for medical attention. If they are not injured, but are considered to be unsafe or in danger, transport them to a safe location. Refer to additional resources to address the situation, such as APS or Adult Protective Services. As you complete this training module, I encourage you all to view the additional resources in the PDF download on the Age Guide Learning Center or in the description below if you are watching on YouTube. These resources will aid you and your business in your efforts towards the Dementia Friendly Initiative. Please feel free to download, print, keep, and share the handouts. Thank you for your commitment and conscious effort in caring for people living with dementia in the communities that you serve. Upon completion, a follow-up letter, certificate, and dementia-friendly window cling can be provided to your business. Please share this training far and wide to the other colleagues and other organizations in your network.